You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of condolences to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi over the victims of the train collision in the city of Sohaj. His Majesty the King extended deepest condolences and sympathy to the Egyptian President, people, and the victims' families, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the deceased in eternal peace, bless the wounded with a speedy recovery, and protect Egypt and its people from all evil. His Royal the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, to extend his condolences following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance of the UAE. His Royal Highness praised the virtues of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan, whose efforts helped lay the foundations for future prosperity. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness for his condolences, wishing His Royal Highness continued good health. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Chairperson of the Equal Opportunities Committee and Member of the Supreme Council for Women, Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, received the Award of Arab Women and Social Responsibility in an Era of Transformation, Developmental Inclusiveness and Digital Diplomacy from the Arab Council for Social Responsibility, the ACSR. The award was granted during the Third Arab Women Forum for Social Responsibility under the title of Transformation in the Time of Inclusion, which was held today at the headquarters of the Arab League under the patronage of the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghaith who presented the award to Dr. Sheikh Arana. On this occasion, Dr. Sheikh Arana expressed her heartfelt condolences and thanks to his, rather thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and SCW President Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa for the constant attention and care given to women at all levels, which has made the Kingdom of Bahrain a model for the advancement of women. Dr. Sheikh Arana expressed her pride and honor in being the first woman to hold the position of Under Secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the Arab world. She also hailed the outstanding role played by the Supreme Council for Women since its establishment in 2001, led by Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, lauding the initiatives and programs of the Council, which serve the interests of women as active partners in development and promoting their role in all areas. The Foreign Ministry Undersecretary Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa bint Aj Al Khalifa today met the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghaith, in Cairo. Abu Ghaith welcomed Dr. Sheikh Rana and congratulated her on the occasion of winning the Award of Arab Women for Social Responsibility in the Era of Transformation, Developmental Inclusiveness, and Digital Diplomacy, awarded by the Arab Council for Social Responsibility. He appreciated her great, tangible efforts in the field of advancing women in all areas that contributed to the distinction of the Kingdom of Bahrain's experience in empowering and advancing women and making them a model to be emulated at the regional and international levels. For her part, Dr. Sheikh Arana expressed pride in having met Abu Ghaith, commended his role in promoting the Arab League and serving Arab issues in various international forums. Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE, Dr. Mohamed Mbarak Mindana, held a roundtable meeting with the Arab Gulf States Institute in Washington, the AGSIW. The meeting was organized by the Bahraini Embassy to Washington and attended by AGSIW's Executive Vice President, Ambassador William Robach, and a number of environmental and economic affairs experts. Dr. Mindana lauded the pioneering role played by the Arab Gulf States Institute in Washington to provide research and analyze the social, economic, and political situation of the Arabian Gulf states, noting the AGSIW is the only research institute that supports the GCC states with the latest studies and scientific research that contribute to enhancing their national efforts aimed at achieving sustainable development goals. He reviewed Bahrain's efforts to adapt to the effects of climate change through plans, strategic studies, environmental projects and international reports that confirm its commitment to international conventions and agreements concerned with preserving the environment and confronting climate change. The experts participating in the roundtable discussed a number of topics related to climate change, the diversification of the kingdom's economy, the shift towards clean energy and environmental friendly projects. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly denounced the terrorist Houthi militia's continued launch of armed drones towards the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in a flagrant violation of international norms and laws. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs lauded the vigilance shown by the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen, which were able to intercept and destroy these aircrafts. It affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain stands with full solidarity by the side of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all the necessary measures it takes to protect its security, stability and territorial integrity. The Ministry also called on the international community to stand up in the face of these attacks that contradict the sincere intentions of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to settle the Yemeni crisis and reach a comprehensive peaceful solution in accordance with its recent initiatives, which was widely welcomed globally. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 464,040 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 243,940 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,498 active cases with 718 recoveries and 841 registered new cases. 281 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 552 were contacts of active cases and 8 were travel related. The Ministry announced three deaths, two female citizens and one male citizen from COVID-19 and expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus.